Hi there, welcome to Sir Matigo. Kumusta kayo? Today I'm going to teach you how to solve this problem involving linear inequality. Here is this problem. Joseph has 10,000 pesos in his savings account. He wants to withdraw 300 pesos every week for his consumption in school. How many weeks can he withdraw money if he wants to retain at least 2,500 from his savings account? Let us define our variable. Let W be the number of weeks Joseph can withdraw money. This is our inequality. 10,000 minus 300W is greater than or equal to 2,500. We have this inequality. We start withdrawing money from 10,000 minus which means withdraw 300 W means 300 pesos every week is uh, going to be withdrawn by Joseph this symbol means is at least and Joseph wants to retain 2,500 let us now solve this inequality 10,000 minus 300 W is greater than or equal to 2,500. Transpose 2,500 to the left and it becomes negative. And transpose negative 300 W to the right and it becomes positive. So we have now 10,000 minus 2,500 is greater than or equal to 300 W. And the result is 7,500 is greater than or equal to 300W. Let us remove 300 and retain only W to the right. So we have 7,500 divided by 300 is greater than or equal to 300W divided by 300. The result is 25 is greater than or equal to W. This can be seen in the number line. The illustration shows that the number of weeks in withdrawing money is to the left of 25, including 25. This means that Joseph can withdraw money in not more than 25 weeks to retain at least 2,500 pesos in his savings account. Let us check our answer. If Joseph will withdraw 300 pesos on first week, his balance is 9,700. If he will withdraw until the 10th week, 300 times 10 is equal to 3,000. His balance is 7,000. If he will withdraw until the 20th week, 300 times 20 that is 6,000. And his balance is 4,000. On the 25th week, he had already withdrawn 300 times 25, that is 7,500. The remaining balance is 2,500. This is what he wants to retain, 2,500. So our solution, which is 25 is greater than or equal to W, is correct.